Hi, this is Raven, and I wanted to talk about the movie Rocket Man. That is the Elton John biopic that just came out. It's starring an actor named Teron Egerton. He is a good, well-rounded performer. I think in real life he's a little bit funny, he has a personality, so it works out really well for him playing this role. He does a really good job. At the beginning of this movie, they show his childhood, but they interpret it in a musical way where there's dancers and they use Elton John's later music to portray that. It's very trippy and very cool, and then they go into the story. What this movie is about is all of his relationships, so him being gay, that's a part of it, but it's bigger than that. And he has a relationship with his parents, especially his mother, who I would call judgmental, and that's why he sort of created Elton John and got away from Reginald White because he was trying to get away from his past. Um, and I don't, you know, it was interesting, and his relationship with his mother, it goes throughout this whole movie, so, you know, you could think she's one way, maybe she's another. Uh, it, it changes, it evolves, and it's interesting. And his real mother, she died at like 90 years old and Elton John was like 70 and he got, he wasn't talking to her and then he started talking to her just before she died and I don't know, you know, that was like, that's the kind of relationship they had. I mean, sometimes he just had to get away from her and, you know, and you'll see... You're going to you're going to see that throughout the movie. I I think it's a it's a process. His relationship is a process that happens through this movie and all of his relationships are covered in this movie and they go through them and that's what's interesting. But he goes through a lot of different things. And I think when I saw the trailer, I thought, oh, it's going to be just a fun movie, sort of like Bohemian Rhapsody. But it wasn't. And people had said, well, they didn't really show the dark side of, of what was really happening. And they were loose, and loose with the facts. I don't think all the facts are completely right in this biopic either. But I think you're going to see more darkness and you're going to see more truth than maybe Bohemian Rhapsody because people said that wasn't dark enough. This this really goes there. It goes through a lot in his life. Um, what I feel is missing for me was I really wish they would have explored his relationship with John Lennon because he wrote a song called Whatever Gets You Through the Night and they did it like live. Uh, you know, he came up on stage and I wish they would have just had a guy play John Lennon just to show his relationship with other celebrities which are mentioned there's name dropping but there's not actually showing it and then there's his one relationship with Bernie Toppin I have to mention that because he's really the lyricist and he wrote the music their relationship is very well explained in this movie and that is something that I think was worth seeing this movie for. I've always loved the lyrics of, of, of Elton John and love those lyrics and I love the melodies and it just was because I loved poetry. So I always thought of them, Bernie and Elton, as a team and they show a lot. It, it excited me because I wanted to always see that portrayed somewhere, you know. Um, and that was a good part for me. There's I mean, it, it, it is a biopic, and that's what you're going to expect. His life, his music, his legacy. At the end of the movie, they show the real Elton John. It's worth staying for after the credits, very much so. You're going to like what, you know, pictures and stuff they show. It's really cool. Um, this is a, it's a good movie. It's a worth it movie to see. Um, I like Elton John. I did never saw Elton John in the 70s. I was quite young, so I saw him in the 80s when he had, like, the white suit on. And he didn't really need all these costumes because he's such a talent. And when I saw him in concert, I was, you know, blown away. And he played, like, two songs when he came out at the piano, and then he kind of stopped and started talking to the audience and broke the ice. And I remember that, and, and that he had a good spirit about him. And, you know, he's just really talented. 
if you ever get a chance to see him, go. Uh, he's saying that he's going to retire. And, you know, I don't know. It'd be nice if he did some, like, Las Vegas shows or something once in a while. He sure, you know, he could really, you know, that's a place for him. Um, I personally just think that he's a great performer, a great artist, a great, uh, you know, just that kind of person. He, um, I, I just, it was weird, you know, to think again that he was just this piano player that was doing classical music and was like just maybe a nerdy kid that ended up making it to being Elton John, Sir Elton John. And that is just such an accomplishment, and it is so interesting to watch this movie. Um, I hope that if they make another biopic, maybe they'll do one about David Bowie. That would be extremely interesting as well. Um, you know, it's, it's worth seeing. The actors are terrific in it, and... I just uh, wanted to get my thoughts across because I couldn't stop thinking about this movie after I saw it. So thank you uh, for listening, and uh, I hope that you get a chance to see this movie. Thank you.